Hello everyone. This is the first video of our new five part series on inventory management project. In this series, we will be using the different Azure services so that an efficient inventory management system can be created. This video is an introduction video where I'll explain what we are trying to achieve using the inventory management project. Then the different services use their integration as well as the workflow. So let's start with the purpose of this project. So as the name suggests, inventory management project is used for managing the inventory of the products. So once the inventory is updated, a CSV file will be created. And using that CSV file, we have to update our inventory portal where users can check all the product details or even search the specific product in the portal. And along with that, users should be notified that the inventory has been updated. As you can see on your screen, there are multiple services which are in use for the inventory management project. So let's start with the Azure Blob storage account. So first we'll create the Azure storage account and then create the container in it where the CSV file will be saved as a blob. And once the new CSV file is created, the next service to create will be function app. And we'll use the Python as the runtime environment for the function app. For the integration, we'll be using the blob trigger, which means once the CSV file or the blob is uploaded in the blob storage account, automatically a blob trigger will trigger the Azure Python function. The Python function will check the credentials and then get the CSV file and read its content. Now the next step for the function app is to connect with the SQL database. For that we'll create a SQL server and then create a SQL database over that server. And using the function app, we'll update the SQL database with the contents of the CSV file, which will have the details of the different products. And for the security reason, we don't want to use the credential of SQL database into function app. And for that reason, we'll be creating the Azure key vault where the integration of the function app with the key vault will be through a managed identity where the object ID of the function app or the system assigned managed identity of the function app will have role based access control over the secrets of key vault and the SQL database credentials will be saved as a secrets in key vault. So to understand the workflow till now, once the CSV file will be uploaded into the storage account, automatically a blob trigger will happen and the Python function will read the contents of the CSV file and fetch the credentials from the key vault and then connect to the SQL database and update the database. Now, once the database is updated, we need to notify the users that the inventory update has happened. And for that reason, we'll create the Azure logic app where there will be two tasks. One is getting the HTTP trigger and another one is sending email. And the same function app will send a HTTP post to logic app. And once that message will be sent to logic app, logic app will trigger an email notification to the user. And then the user will receive a notification that the inventory has been updated and they can check in the inventory portal. Now for the inventory portal, we'll be using the Azure web app where we'll use the Python flask so that a web interface can be created. And this web app will connect to the SQL database and get the details of all the products from there. And once the user will get the notification, user can go to the portal and the user can either check the details of all the products or even can search the product in the portal. So this is the complete workflow of the inventory management project, which we are trying to achieve. So the next four videos will be lab only video where I'll show the step-by-step -step creation integration and implementation of all these services and then finally test our inventory management project. I'll provide the code as well as any reference into the description of this video. So that's all for this introduction video and check the next video in this series. Thank you.